the Tanbazar brothels were the largest and oldest brothels in the country. In 1991, the sex workers were threatened with eviction. In response, they mobilized for their rights as workers and as citizens. They called press conferences and reached out to various groups for support. A blockade of the brothels was imposed. In response, a few of us from Naripokkot decided to visit and talk to the organizers. I had never been to a brothel before. When I entered the area, I had expected it to be a sleazy neighborhood with skimpily dressed women standing in the doorways, lecherous men, drugs, alcohol. I was feeling nervous, curious, but also daring. Entering the crowded place, we asked for the leader. We walked up dirty steps, went into a corridor, past various rooms. We entered a room with a high bed, clothes hanging on the walls with a showcase. This was my first contact with the sex workers. We talked to them sitting on the bed where I was afraid of touching the sheets thinking of what else might have happened there. I was offered tea but was not sure whether I should drink it. A few days later, religious leaders threatened to march into the brothels after the Friday prayers and evict the women. Our physical presence was important to show our support. We went to Tan Bazar early Friday morning and formed groups with the sex workers and posted the walls of Narayan Ganj town. We then went back to the brothel area so that our presence would prevent the attack. We were nervous but also excited. The action was supposed to end with a special meal prepared to thank us, but it was interrupted by the news that the police had asked us to leave as they were expecting trouble. We left only on the assurance that the police would protect the brothels. Our rickshaws were escorted out by the police. However, we had won a battle that day, even if the war continued. When I left, I was no longer the same person who had gone into the brothels more out of curiosity than solidarity. Confronted by threat of violence from the community and the state, I felt that the sex workers' demands were the same as my own. The right to security, the right to shelter and the right to a livelihood.